In this video, we are going to implement the remote data source section. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Master Coding Channel and the Complete Android Developer Course. We will continue with the movie app, and we are going to implement the remote data source and make the, the API, the movie API client used for uh, receiving the data using the retrofit and the API for the moviedb.org. We have seen the previous videos the that the implementation of the live data here in the live model. Then in the previous video, we have moved the live data into repository. And in this video, we are going to make the client and move the live data from the repository and set it to the live data. Back to Android Studio. We are going to create here in the request in the responses i will make responses i will create a new java class and i will call it inside the sorry the requests inside the requests i will make here a new java class called movie api client Okay. Okay. So these are the these are the classes that we have done. Okay. Now in this movie API, I will make I will remove from the repository the mutable live data. So back to the repository where is the repository and here I will remove this mutable data so I will cut it and I will go to the movie client API and I will paste it here okay so I will create private static here I need to create private static but I need to configure the the error here so we have now the two errors that uh, when we cut the live data from here I will remove this I I've pasted it into the movie API client and I will need to make the changes for the repository. So since I have removed the live data and now the live data is in the data source. So in order to link it with the movie API client, the movie API client is at this level. So the movie API client, the repository and the view model, we link it to the repository and we are going to link it with the, the movie uh, repository or movie api client sorry okay now in order to link it with the movie client i'm making here private movie api client and mm, movie client Okay, and here we'll still the same. This is the singleton pattern that I have told you about it. And despite this, I'm going to create a movie API client equal to movie API client dot get instance. I have uh, missed here the instance. I will create it inside the movie create and api and i will remove this and make here i will remove this cut and i will make a new getter out getter movie api client 
or sorry, I will make a live data. I will copy. I will uh, keep it here. I will keep it here, and I will return m movie API client dot get movies. I will remove uh, the methods that you have used before, and I will put all the live data and now in the movie API, which represent the remote data source level. Okay. So going back to the movie API client, I told you that this client will work as the bridge between the retrofit data and the live data. So private static, I need to make private static movie, which is the singleton pattern movie API client and instance, sorry, instance. Okay. And I will use the singleton pattern here, public static movie API client and get instance and if instance equal equal to null instance equal new movie API client okay and we return the instance this is the java singleton we have done for the for the section of the remote data and we need to store the live data so for that i will create first of all for private movie api client this is the constructor and the constructor and making here the movies equal to new mutable this is the live data okay so the live data as i told you we have moved it from the, the view model to repository and in this video we have moved it into the remote data source which is the client class okay now public public live data uh, having the list and list of movie model get movies and we create return um, movies okay in this way we have created the api client and all errors has been solved in the repository okay guys it's done for this video we as i told you we have moved the live data from the view model to repository and now getting the live data from the api uh, that we have uh, going that we are going to use the retrofit to you to parse the data and get the data from the movie db uh, or .org api Thank you guys, see you in next videos.